Good morning, ladies and gents. Guess get expected a bit more of oblivion. And we're, we're midway through a quest. We've got to drop off this horrible staff at a shrine of Shagorath. And we've got a little fan club. Look at them. No, we've lost our, we've lost, we've lost our Daedroth, but it doesn't matter. We've got Olaf. And we've got our little... Look at this little gang. I love them. Our little fan club. Scampy fan club. I wish I could interact with them more. I wish they actually did something to help, but anyway, it's fine. So we've got to go into here, Dark Fathom Cave, and drop off a this this stuff because it's causing issues apparently. Where's if I could get round them, it'd be amazing. Move. There we go. So I have no idea what to expect in this cave, but we'll fight. We'll hang on. I'm just going to quickly do that. There we go. Just to make sure we're on full health. Look at those weird teeth. They look like. Why has this cave got teeth? Look at that! Monstrous. I've no idea which way to go, but anyway. That is a... That is a secret door, I was going to say. <sighs> if I go in here, am I going to get trapped? Stay there, lads. Now, if this is... Don't... I just... I told you to wait. If this is... Shea Goroth's cave, I'm expecting all kinds of bonkers madness in here. Although it's just a shrine to him, it's not actually. Okay, hang on. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Fight him! No, no, no! Leave it, Olaf! Leave it! He's not worth it! Where's, where's my frosty groat? Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Nice! There's another one, or something. Oh! It's one of them. Quick! Yeah, there we go. Holy smokes, it's full of... Yeah, come on, ben. Pretty sure Olaf... Accidentally... Uh oh, more enemies nearby. Pretty sure Olaf accidentally walloped my Daedroth then, but it doesn't matter too much. I'm scared. It says there's more enemies nearby. Oh! Oh! Yeah, look at that! Only one broken pick! Holy smokes. What's our carry weight? Uh, I mean, it's worth a lot of money, that, isn't it? Elven Battle Axe. It's not that heavy. Well, it's too heavy, but... I'll take that. <laughs> Another one! Obviously, the, the, when this when the people lived in this cave, obviously it was... Oh my god, you scared the pants off me, you lot. Obviously it was trendy to... Get out of the way! Trendy to have everybody, or whatever it was, battle axes. Hello, mate. Yeah, you missed it, yeah. I do love this, this kind of shotgun blast effect of this Elsa's kiss. You can't really miss. Although there is one of those things that I'm not so keen on. Uh, hang on a minute. What have I got that is also quite good for summoning? I thought I had another one as well. Like another... What was that? We could open hard lock. We could protect him. Reaper's Whisper is good. However... Summon, here we go. What else have we got? Dramora Lord might be quite good. Maybe... Hang on a bit, we're just going to let our, our thingy build up a bit. Our mana. And that'd be really cool if I could actually hit this guy. Like that. Sorry, didn't mean to get the danger one. Uh oh. Nice, killed the clan fear. Can't see a bloody thing here though. Oh. I'm just gonna, again, just, just swamping them. Nice, he's dead. Is the other one dead? Not quite, but nearly. He must be almost dead. He killed my Dramora Lord though. These things are horrible. Oh, okay, he's actually, he's got more, he's got more health than I thought he had. Eek. Oh. Mana. He's about to cast something as well. Oh. 
He hit his own clan fear with it. Yeah. He's got me dead, he's got me dead. What? How you getting on our left? Okay, you took a bit of a dump, but not too bad. I'm glad my scabs were here, they definitely saved the day. These bloody things. Ebony Warhammer, Christ. They are packing a punch these days, aren't they? Do you need more? Yeah. I'm not taking any chances now, Olaf. Mainly because it's the laziness factor. If he dies, I've got to go all the way back to Frostcrag Spire to get another one. And no one can be bothered with that. Look at them sniffing it. Are you still not... Right. He's probably like two points away from full energy. I'm kind of sinking back into this more now. Hang on a minute. No, let's go to this. Let's just go straight for the shrine. Offload the staff. Okay, this looks very much like a shrine, doesn't it? What else have I got that I can summon? Yeah. I mean, they're pretty good, but did I not... Oh, no. What? Oh. Wizard's Fury, what's that? No. I thought I had another one where I could summon something else for longer. What am I thinking of? Maybe not, I don't know. Immobilize, I love that. Oh yeah, we should also try using Paralyze, although a lot of stuff seems to be Heat Blast. A lot of stuff does seem to be pretty much Im uh, immune to that sort of thing. Firestorm. Eyes of Midnight. Yeah, look at that. Elsa's Fury. Oh, Elsa's Fury. What's that? Oh. Requires 500 magicka. Oh, yeah, we did make that one, didn't we? That was like our uber ridiculous one, wasn't it? Just... Oh, Call Beyond. That's the one. Oh, no. Olaf, wait. I've arrived at the shrine to Shea Goroth. I should find the altar place to stuff near. I expect I probably should. Oh god, there's loads. Ouch! I got staggered. No, nope. he bit me as well. Missed. Dead. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Hang on a minute. Okay, this could be problematic. Um. Yeah. Uh, what have we got? Where's. No. What's it called? Where's it gone? Elsa's... Where is it? No. Elsa's case, that's the one. Oh, God! Oh, no. I'm not trying to hit you with frost. Yeah, well done, Olaf. He didn't even get hit. Did you, did you, the bug? He loves it. Look at this pile of Daedroths. There it is. Look at him having a right laugh. We, I don't know, we may end up... Oh, hello. I'm no longer feeling the urge to possess the, the staff, or whatever he said. Look at it with the oblivion symbol on it as well. How do I... How do I... No. No. How do I put it down? Not like that. Oh! Wow, that was surprisingly painful. How do I... Oh, do I, do I literally just drop it? Yeah! I've placed the staff near the altar at the Shrine Shogoroth. The scamps seem pleased with their new home, and best of all, have stopped following me. I should return to... what's her face? Can I put it on the... I actually want to put it on the altar. Kind of not sideways. Oh. No, I kind of want to... Oh, 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 no! That was close. Really? Oh! No, no. Go on, no! That way, you turd. Don't fall off. Okay, it's fairly close. He can see it, anyway. You can see it there, can't you? Look at him. Again, though, we don't know. We may end up doing the DLC one day. I don't have a weapon, do I? Let's have children. Again, look at this bonkers pile of Daedroth. Anyway. Right, I left. Follow. Follow me, as Abe would say. Oh! I've gone the wrong way. Oh no! 
Oh my god, hang on. Nice. How did that happen? What's it? What did he have? Daedric Claymore. Yeah, this is this isn't a good place to be. Let's leave Olaf. I somehow went the wrong way. Oh, it's up here, wasn't it? That's the one. Okay, so we'll head back. Tell her we've dropped off the staff, and she should be well pleased with us. Can I go the right way? Yes, because that's that secret bit. Yep, there we go. Didn't go down there either, I didn't think. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so the only problem is night eye. I have got dispel, but anyway, it's not it. We'll be fine. Is that Leowin? That is. A stone's throw from Leowin. It's lucky that it wasn't on the other side of the map, isn't it? Why am I? I didn't know. I really didn't notice any kind of drop in speed. But anyway, which is good. Wee. Plop. How do you? No. That's the one. You see, there is some movement, like there is a bit of wake caused when you move about, but it's not great. But then, as I say, this is obviously 2006, so can't really expect great, can you? But anyway, I mean, it is a great game, but I just mean in terms of visuals and stuff. Looking a bit dated. Mind you, I noticed, because obviously having been playing, you know, new games on the Series X and stuff, I'd, I'd we've been... Noticing that some games that I previously thought looked really good don't look so good so much. Like GTA 5, it just looks a bit cartoony and a bit pastely now, but anyway. In my opinion, IMO, as they say, as the kids would say. Are you still injured? Have I just knocked a load of stuff over? No, no, no. Right, where is she? I've solved your problem. You Give me stuff. I don't see any scamps or the staff. I did it. As promised, here's the ring. I bought it from a shop in the Imperial City many years ago for an ex-lover of mine. He ran off with someone else, so now the ring belongs to you. The owner of the shop called it the Ring of Eidolon's Edge. I think you'll like it. Okay, any rumours? This addresser isn't teaching alchemy. He spends all of his time researching a cure for schooner addiction. Oh, getting people off the, the crack. There are a lot of skagheads or scuba heads about in certain cities, aren't there? Right, um... Okay, so... We now no longer have an active quest. A knife in the dark, no. Path of Dawn, maybe? Her sign. What do we talk about? Yeah, I don't really want to offer Unicorn for that one. Oh, we could do these, actually. DLC. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one, doesn't it? Dora Nibbid Bay. Yeah, we're not doing that, because that takes us to... Um... Shivering Isles DLC. Oh, maybe. I'm asking Mayron's Razor. Now that was. I've only ever done this quest once when it first came out. I remember this being really hyped and thinking, oh wow, a huge new quest. And it wasn't. It was just like another cave dive. And Dunbarra Cove. Pirates. I don't know. Don't know about that. I have. I have definite memories of that. Let's. Let's do. Where's it gone? This one. Let's start. Knights of the Nine. Uh, so, yeah, I've heard of a mysterious prophet who preaches outside the desecrated chapel of Devella in Anvil. I should find out if he knows anything about who attacked the chapel and why. I've heard rumours of an attack on the chapel. Oh, hang on, I've read it the wrong way around. No one seems to know what happened, but all the priests and priestesses were killed and the altars desecrated. Might be worth going to Anvil. It might. Oh, no, wrong button. Oh, god damn it. I like, I like approaching Anvil because you get this kind of coastal view. But it is night time. We need to wait till not that long. Wait till about nine o'clock. Because it is almost eleven o'clock IRL. So it should be, here we go. It's nearly always sunny in Anvil as well. Like Philadelphia. Hang on a minute, where's Oh Where's he gone? Oh, for God's sake. Hang on, two seconds. Okay, there we go. I had to go back to Leowin for some reason. Why? Have I got two horses? I mean, 
Because this one doesn't say steel, it simply says ride, as though I can actually... Why are your eyes... Your pupils are massive. My horse is on scuba. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember having two horses, but, like, it doesn't say steel horse. It says ride horse. On a steel horse I ride. I haven't listened to Bon Jovi for years. Anyway, that's by the by, isn't it? Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. It always, I don't know why, oh god, it always makes me think a little bit. I don't know why, I'm trying to think why, it reminds me of um, Brixham, not Brixton, Brixham, Brixham, um, across the bay from Torquay. Very close to where I where I live actually, but anyway. I don't live in Torquay, but I'm, I'm close to that area, Torbay, close to the Torbay area. Not in Torbay, but close to the Torbay area. But, but, um, but yeah, for some reason approaching Anvil always reminds me of... Brixham. I don't know why. I mean, there's no weird coloured houses or... Oh, there is a pirate ship, I suppose. Although, obviously, the ship in Brixham is the Golden Hind. It's not exactly a pirate ship, but there you go. Anyway. Yeah, like, I was like Anvil. Anvil, if I was going to settle down somewhere in Tamriel, it would be Anvil. It's got that nice kind of coastally vibe. Oh! Oh, God! You can get off, mate. I nearly died by one of you before. I'm sorry, Moggy, but... What? Thank you for the silver arrow. I'm not going to take the lion pelt. Now, if I speak to him, he'll probably say, Stop, thief! Uh, because I've, he'll think I've stolen his um, arrow. Oh, Olaf, where are you? Oh, for God's sake. Fine. Don't need you anyway. Hello, mate. You alright? Sometimes. Didn't hear any of that. It sounded like he said sautéed peanuts, but I don't think he did. Right. I forgot where I'm going. Oh yeah, the chapel. The chapel. Yeah, this was a big bit of DLC, because they did Mehrun's Razor, which was just a sort of a slightly extended dungeon dive. And then this was a big bit of DLC, and then Shivering Isles, which was a huge bit of DLC. Oh, hang on, new topic, 8 and 1, what's that about? What does 8 and 1 mean? Who was talking about that? <gasps> what? Mirror Maid. Who was saying 8 and 1 then? This house looks a bit run down, doesn't it? Ah, needs a key. Maybe that's one that we can buy and then tart up. I'm really confused as to who was saying 8 and 1, because was that a new quest that we could have started? I, don't, I literally don't dare talk to the guards in case they're like, Come with me. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. A kind soul, I am a gentle lady. Have a coin. Thank you, kind lady. And then tell me about the attack. Right in the center of the city. Nobody saw anything. Makes you wonder about the confidence of the guard, if you ask me. Nice. I like the way you say city. I mean, this place is about as big as Plim Tree. Which is one of my favourite places, by the way. But anyway, oh, I love that. I love that village. Anyway, look at that weird green thing. And I like the way it's sort of corroded. So it's like copper that's corroded because of the the salt air. What's this shop, by the way? Oh, it's a blacksmith, isn't it? Peacemakers. Hang on a minute. Can I actually sell some crap? Do I? Have, I mean, bow of winter. If I was better at archery, that'd probably be quite good. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that as well. Anyway, staff of webs. There's the Fighters Guild. We haven't done the Fighters Guild missions, have we? Should we stick our head in the door and see if we can at least get that marked onto our to-do list? Hello. Looking for adventure? The Fighters Guild is I might be. To start. Join the Fighters Guild. If you're interested, see Valena Danton in Cor, or Azan in Anvil, or Birds Grow Kosh in Chainpong. I always say Azan in Anvil, as though, like, where could Anvil be? Morning. Not like talk to the guy behind me. <laughs> it's like so, anyway. Can use new I thought so. What can I do? The Fighters Guild is always looking for new members. Have I got a clean record? If you've got a clean record and don't have a bounty on your head, we may be able to use it. I can become Are you interested in joining Dog the Bounty Hunter? Yes I am. Sign me up. Fine. Yeah. You are now an associate in the Fighters Guild. For contracts, speak either with me 
or with Burz Grokash in Chadenhall. Good luck to you. Okay, give me a contract. Oh, hang on, what can he train me in? Blood. He's very. He can train you in being blunt, so you you know you're not exactly diplomatic. You just tell tell people the way it is, tell people things the way it is. A contract for you? I think I've got something that suits your experience. Arvina Phyllis has some problem with rats in the house. Excuse me, I'm the Archmage. I'm level 32. I could probably kill all of you lot in a fight, and yet, anyway. Lady Umbernox has hired a new captain of the guard. I love the way it's killing rats, though. Like, I mean, it just had to be, didn't it? All of these sort of sword and sorcery type things, they're always killing rats, isn't it? Why has that not appeared as a potential quest, then? Hang on. I don't understand. Why? What? Hang on a minute. Get out of the way. Let me just talk to him again, because I think. Did he actually give me the contract? A contract for you? I think I've got something that's. Yes, well. Oh, there we go. Yes, rats. I'm sure she can explain it to you better than I. She lives here in Ann. Go and talk to her. Good luck. Yeah. Can I kill rats? A rat problem. Probably. Hang on, let's get lit. Right, I'm doing this thing as I always do. I'm on one quest and then get distracted by other stuff. This always happens. It's you. I'm... Who have I got to talk to? It's this dude, isn't it? And the nine need a How are you. How are you talking without speaking? Oh my! To what do I the Prophet. But a humble prophet. He's always putting profit first. <laughs> oh, eight and one, what does that mean? Once there were eight oh. then Tiber Septon became Talos, and the eight became me. I followed the old way of honoring the eight while also giving due to Talos, the one who was sent. Okay, yeah, because I think the whole Talos worship thing is a bit, is a bit controversial. Anyway, Anvil Chapel attack. This is only the beginning. Umaril has returned, as foretold by Pelinal Whitestrake in his dying breath. What? Who is Pelinal Pelin Pelinal Whitestrake? Umarel, who's that? Umarel, the unfathered, the sorcerer king of the aliens, who ruled over this land for long ages before the rise of men. He was cast down by Pernal Whitestray, but Umarel's spirit survived, and now he has returned to seek vengeance upon the gods. Okay, just tell me who attacked the chapel. Do you understand? Umarale El Nada Rakuva in the alien tongue by the eternal power of Umar. The mortal god shall be cast down a curse upon Umaril's ancient foes and a threat. How do we stop him? Alas, Umaril cannot be stopped. Oh, I remember this. You have to collect the pieces of armor, don't you? Crusaders' relics. Without a champion, the gods are powerless to act. But who among us is worthy to wield the divine Crusaders' weaponry? Beats me. Uh, I don't know who will stop Umaril. I love it. I will quest for the relics. You would quest for the holy panoply of Helen White Strike. 
the legendary relics that have been sought by mighty warriors throughout the ages? Are you a worthy knight? I would hope so. I'm the hero of Kavach. I'm the archmage. Not unless the grey foxes are not. Oh, this is really cool. It kind of. I have no claim to fame. Interesting. So it's tracking all the things that you have already unlocked, and then it gives you these this list here. So if I'd also, <clears throat> if I'd also risen to the the top of the fighters guild, it probably would have added that in as well. I'm the hero of Kavach. Well then, hey you, hero of Kavach. <laughs> Let me add one more voice to the never ending chorus of praise. I'm sure one of your many devotees will be able to guide you on your way to find the crusaders relics. Ah, uh, crusaders relics. A penal white strip, Alicia's comrade granted to him by the eight divines. He went alone into the white gold tower, challenged the alien sorcerer King Umeril to single combat, and slew him. Alas, Umeril was not truly slain, but only cast beyond the bounds of her. And now. He has returned to wreak his vengeance upon the gods, as was prophesied by Pelinel himself with his dying breath. Only a true knight, wielding the holy relics of the divine crusader, has a chance to defeat Umar. But alas for Tamriel, the crusader's relics have been lost. Who now can succeed in the quest for the relics, where the greatest knights of legend all fail? Uh, okay, quest for the relics. Are you oh, I've already done this. He is the enemy of all who walk free on Tamriel today. A survivor of the ancient race of alien slave masters who once ruled Syria. He was struck down by Pelinor, but by his art, Umaril had bound himself to the realm of his mistress, the Daedra Lord Meridia. So he was not slain, but simply cast adrift upon the waters of oblivion. Now he has returned to seek vengeance upon the gods who helped bring about his downfall so many ages ago. Fair enough. Why does that? Oh, it's because I have. Yeah, got the other options. Okay. Think on this. What happened here is only the well upon this chapel of the Bella. Blood. Am I allowed in? Excuse me. Anvil Chapel attack. By the time we got there, it was too late. We have no idea how they got in or out without any of our patrol seeing. Weird. Are we allowed in? Sure. Go down to the chapel. <laughs> I've already spoken to him. Okay, I think we're allowed in. We'll have a little look and see what's happened in there. We'll do a CSI anvil and see what's uh, see what's actually happened inside the chapel. Look at that. I love it. The architecture with here with the clouds drifting slowly past. Anyway, we leave it there for the moment because that is already half an hour. Right, Ella? Um, that's the thing about this game. I'll start playing it and then look at the recording time. It's like bloody hell, it's half an hour already. It does. It just shows when you enjoy and get into a game like this. It just time flies. Anyway, so we'll leave it there for the moment. So thank you very much for watching this part. Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again very soon.